Hey everybody, I'm Joey with J&G. Uh, today we're outside in the freezing cold temperatures, tracing an underground cable fault from this pole light here to that pole light there. Now what they had was a water main break and they weren't able to locate the utilities, therefore they ended up cutting ours. This is a locator which locates the wire under the ground. That's what you have to do first. Come on along and I'll show you how it works. As you see, it's going up into the snow mound. I hope the problem's not in there. Then it comes up and around here. about this area here. Now the next part of our job is to use the fault locating equipment that will pinpoint where the actual break is. Now the trick is, is not busting my butt while I'm walking across the site. Most of the time it's not this cold. Are we having fun yet? Now what this actually does, it says it sends electrical current through the ground and it is picked up by these two probes and it has a meter that indicates exactly where the cable is broken. This is very time, uh, time saving and very uh, cost preventative instead of having to dig up the whole entire area and replace the lawn. First, uh, sync the unit to verify that there is actually a cable fault, and there is. Then you go approximately 10 to 15 feet along that path line of how the cable is ran. And eventually the arrow will point in an opposite direction. will pinpoint where the break is. It has never failed me yet, even in cold temperatures. How cold is it today, Alicia? About 20 degrees. Oh my. X marks the spot. Hey everybody, it is so cold that we have to use an impact hammer to chisel down through the frozen earth. We've used a pick, a digging bar, it ain't budging, but this is working. To say the least, this is going to be a long, arduous task. We'll check in a little later after we find the break.
and again the equipment has not lied there's the cable that was broken as you can see get a little closer grab my hand and that's the cable So apparently when the backhoe was in, uh, replacing the water main, he must have snagged the cable. And as you can see, this is where we were from when we started. Well, we're back. And as the sun has finally come to our area, where we can pick up a little bit of heat and feel a little bit better, we go in and I will be able to show you that our piece of equipment actually worked as it always does. As we go down into the hole, you can see the cable right here. And then you can see the cable over there. So, that's how the equipment works. So if in the future, if you have a need where you need to either locate your electrical lines and or you have a pole light or something which is not working, feel free to give us a call and we will come out and locate it for you. Thanks again for viewing our video and have a great day. Actually, we're back here at the trench. This is how we rejoin the cables. We reattach a new piece of UF cable, which stands for underground feeder cable. Special kind of cable so that water does not penetrate. And the next step is to install the waterproof splice kits. And we'll show you that momentarily. Thank you. Now we are back at our trench area, and these are the UL approved direct burial splice kits. Uh, basically, the splices are encapsulated in a waterproof barrier, um, which will uh, enable the electrical power to continue to go through without interruption. And as you can see, the light is on. And that's a good thing. This is Joey Belosi, J&G Electric, signing off for now.